What's up everybody, it's Joe here with Joseph Blake Photography and in today's video we are, well we're looking at the specs for the Canon EOS R5 Mark II. So I got up this morning all ready to get packed for my trip to Monument Valley, to Page, to, um, where am I going? Is it Lake, Lake Powell, that's where I'm going. I'm going to Lake Powell, I'm going, I'm going to Glen Canyon. Okay, so I'm getting all packed up, ready for that, charging batteries, getting things clean, just ready to rock and roll. And then this morning we get this uh, kind of leak announcement uh, from a couple of different sites. Uh, Photo Rumors has it, Canon Rumors has it, there's a couple different places that have it. So I feel like it's pretty legit um, of the specs list for the Canon R5 Mark II. So I'm not gonna make you wait, but I would really appreciate it if you hit like and subscribe on the video if you find that it's helpful for you. This is the kind of stuff that I love to do. Uh, okay, let's get into the specs. Uh, okay, so, all right, so we have a 45 megapixel backside illuminated, 45 megapixel backside illuminated sensor. And again, this is the sensor that is or was rumored to be bigger and then smaller. We have tech for the, or we have patents for tech that might be coming in the R1 that is gonna make it a stacked-ish sensor. The rumor on this sensor is that it will be stacked and that it will be fast. Interesting that the 3.2 inch flippy dippy screen has been uh, identified as being an OLED. Uh, so I'm going to assume that that means it's gonna be um, HDR. So we're gonna get an HDR display on the back of the camera so that you can see uh, HDR content and get full, kind of full dynamic range of your images and your video. No mention of the resolution. Obviously I'm assuming it's gonna be one or more megapixels. Now the first, in this rumor, uh, we're hearing for the first time a mention of the sensor um, and that it will be a new sensor. Now, they have been using the Digic X sensor for a while now. Sorry, not sensor, processor, the Digic X processor. I'm gonna put all the cameras right here that are using the Digic X processor, the Digic 10 um, processor from Canon. It has had an extremely long life, I think, uh, when they went from the Digic 8 to the Digic X and the Digic X has been phenomenal uh, leap in technology for them. But apparently we're getting something new, so I don't know if it's gonna be the Digic Double X or Digic XI or, Di I don't know, Digic Plus, something. But we're gonna see a new processor, uh, which will obviously bring with it new imaging pipelines, new processes, new technologies, new features that are not in this list. This is just specs, uh, but we'll get some new stuff out of that, assuming um, that you know, they even tell us what it's capable of uh, outside of just the features that are gonna come with this camera. But I would assume that this is probably gonna be the flagship processor that we're gonna see in cameras going forward. Here's a weird one. No mechanical shutter, just electronic. Now this poses an interesting question because right now, if you switch into the mechanical shutter mode on any of the other Canon cameras, you get full, I think it's 14 bit raw. If you drop down into electronic shutter, you get 12-bit RAW. So I'm very curious to see what the actual uh, image quality is gonna be because when you shoot electronic and you shoot super fast uh, in the high-speed mode, you do get a bit of an image uh, quality hit. It's not huge, but um, if you look back, and I'll, maybe I'll link it down below or somewhere up here, the DP review review of the Canon 60 uh, Mark II went into some good detail about the potential loss in quality when you went to the electronic shutter and that it wasn't a huge deal and definitely worth it for the speed. But if this one isn't gonna have a mechanical shutter where you would normally have that 12 frame per second mode, then what exactly are we gonna get out of the electronic shutter if that's the case? Is it a fully stacked global shutter uh, or is it line by line and what is the bit rate gonna be on that? As far as speed is concerned, um, obviously if it's a new chip and it's a BSI stacked sensor, then we are gonna get a super fast chip super fast sensor, which in this case looks like it's going to be 60 frames per second. There's no differentiation between mechanical and electronic because it won't have a mechanical shutter. So electronic shutter, electronic shooting, 60 frames a second. So we'll see. Very curious at 60 frames a second, what the quality is gonna be in those images as it relates to what we would traditionally see out of the 12 frame per second mechanical shutter style on the the, uh, the R5 now and the R6. I'll link somewhere up, uh, up here or, or, or down below the video that I did where we talked about the new AI features that were gonna be coming to the 5D, to the 5D, 
to the R5 Mark II, that those features would revolve around not just learning about tracking subjects and, and what those subjects look like so that it can kind of focus in on them, but what their actions might be so that it can help to actually uh, track them. Maybe there's some additional AI features here. Maybe we're gonna see, you know, a uh, spot healing tool on the back of the camera uh, so that you can, you know, do quick fixes. Um, maybe the remove tool and the generative fill tool in Photoshop is gonna find its way into the back of the camera. That's normally what I think of when I think of AI. Um, so we'll see, that would be interesting. I don't think so, but interesting. Maybe something along the lines of what like a Samsung phone will do, where if you take like five pictures of a group of people, like in a wedding, and in one of them, maybe somebody's not looking. And so you're able to use AI to merge two photos. Maybe it'll identify those things. That would be super cool. 8K raw video. Okay. <laughs> cool. Uh, and 4K 120. Canon log one, two, and three. That's the rumor. So really, uh, this specs leak feels or makes this camera feel like, I, I get two feelings out of this. Number one, this is a very small and incremental refresh. Number two, we don't know what the new chip can do and we don't know what these AI features really are. So there is the potential for it to be very big but not from a spec standpoint. Um, yeah, 60 frames is great, but is that double or triple or, or quadruple what we've seen in the past or what the competitors are doing? No. A global shutter, that would be great. 45 megapixels, middle of the pack. So that's it on the rumor, those are the specs, that's all we've got. Um, I'm gonna keep packing for my trip. Uh, again, going up to Monument Valley, heading up to the Lake Powell, if you're into adventure type stuff like that, check out my adventure playlist. Uh, I just posted two new videos in the last week from previous trips that I had done. One to Mammoth Lake, California, or the Mammoth Lakes area, um, as well as a trip that I took over to Cedar Breaks um, in Utah. Super fun, and I was really happy to get those videos finished, and I'm super happy to be getting out and doing more videos this weekend. Uh, and getting some great photography out in the wild. Also, I've got links down below for every piece of gear that I normally bring with me or have with me. Um, and I'm gonna be testing out some new gear while I am out on the road. So very excited for that. If you're interested in that stuff, go ahead and stay subscribed and we will see you in the next one. Thanks.